Hi there, welcome back. Today is the day I'm going to share with you our 1973 bowler trailer. And I spent the day yesterday cleaning it and I did a little bit of extra decorating for you folks. So I'm really excited to show you how it looks inside. And this bowler is 1973. It is made out of fiberglass. They were made in Winnipeg, Canada. And um, they're super lightweight. I think, I don't even know how much they actually weigh, but they're so light that you can actually move it around by hand. And this one is a 13 foot long bowler. So it's really nice and tiny and super cute. So let's have a little look at the outside, but I'm gonna mostly focus on the inside for you guys and show you everything inside. So let's turn the camera around and have a look. So this is the outside of the bowler and it does need a little paint job, a new paint job. It needs to be freshened up a little bit. It's been sitting over the winters. It has kind of faded and needs to be freshened up, but it's in really nice shape, really great condition. And you can see it's got an egg shape to it. So let's go on inside and have a look inside. Well, welcome to the bowler. So this floor is original to the bowler. It's in really great condition. It washes up well. It's very durable. We have no plans on covering it up. A lot of people will put laminate flooring and uh, but we have no no plans of doing that we'll keep it as it is we want to keep the bowler as original as possible the fridge is original and it works and there's a little kitchen cupboard beside it and that's where i put all my dish stuff for doing dishes and cleaning supplies and rags and whatnot go in there and this heater does not work and we might take it out and put another kitchen cupboard or a little curtain but Wendell is also thinking that maybe he could somehow put a little propane fireplace in there so I don't know we'll see what we're gonna do with that space The stove is original as well, and it works. And the sink is original. And the tap. And this you would just pump. And there's a holding tank, and it would just pump out the water from the holding tank into the sink. And these were just so cute. They definitely have camping vibes, so they needed to go in here. And I keep coffee in these Tupperware containers. And this lamp, there is a hole in the screen here. And so I just put the cord out and then when we are at a when we stop and we're at a, a campsite, we can put the cord out and then attach it to another cord, extension cord, and plug it in so we have light. And this window has to be open when you use the stove because the stove is propane, so it has to be open. This I'm not sure if this piece was original or if it was added, but our plan is to put stainless steel, a piece of stainless steel back here. So it won't be totally original, but um, it'll just work better 
before cooking and stuff. This light is going to be removed. Neither of us like fluorescent lights, so we're going to take this out and then probably just put like a towel rack for tea towels and stuff here somewhere. But we're going to be taking this little unit out. The kitchen cupboards are original as well, but we are planning on putting some beach veneer, beech wood veneer over top of the cupboards. So that'll cover up the holes and stuff on the cupboards. Wendell just changed these out because the original ones did not close properly and we would have to put tape over them otherwise they would pop open while we're driving and everything inside would just fly out. So he just changed these up but um, we are looking for chrome latches that would be more original to the bowler. So they've got a little, few little holes in them, but at least these close now. And they're not gonna pop open when we travel. This is where I keep our dishes. Put all my retro Tupperware in there. And it works really well, so when we're traveling, this obviously gets jumbled up, so at least nothing will break. It's very durable. And use this kettle to make coffee. And just use this piece with the cone coffee filters and just put it over top of coffee mug and do pour over coffees. That's how we make our coffee. Coffee is a must. And I keep my coffee in these Tupperware, vintage Tupperware containers. And I thrifted this Myrtle wood bud vase and it looks really cute in here. It's wood so it won't break. And I just put a little faux flower in here. And I've got a really cute little lucite clock and it's got a bit of a sage green handles in the orange so it looks really nice ties in well and cream and sugar well mac cream and sugar set perfect for camping nice and light you just throw it in the cupboard and then when we stop and we're having coffee just pull it out This piece here, we think was added to the bowler and it just comes down, this piece moves and then this will come right down and fold down so when you're traveling, um, you don't want this up while you're traveling because it'll definitely break. So it folds down and then folds up when you need it. So it's really nice and handy, an extra little countertop space for cooking and stuff, preparing meals, or putting cute little decorative vintage items on. <laughs> and this is our little couch. And that is the blanket that I thrifted the other day and it looks great on the couch. Works perfect. It's got a nice chevron pattern, which is very 1970s, and the color combination goes well. Got some throw pillows. These are not vintage or thrifted. I just found these covers at the Dollarama. They were just a couple dollars, so I got those for some of the pillows that I had, and 
They look nice. And I put this macrame plant hanger up with a faux plant in it just, just for some fun. There's an empty space, so it looks cute there. And this is the brass votive holder that I thrifted the other day as well. And so it works well and it's nice and light and just tuck it away when we're traveling and pull it out when I want some candle, candle light. And that's just a cute little deer that I thrifted. It is Red Mill, um, handcrafted in USA. So he's cute. I love deer, so he fits in well. And so that is our little couch area, living room area. And this also makes into a bunk bed which we have never done. Um, we haven't tried it. We're not sure if it'll work with this table, if it, we can actually make it into a bunk bed or not. Um, but there is some metal pieces on either side. There's one on this side as well. And you can't really see it in there. It's tucked under there. And there's metal poles and they go into those pieces and then this top piece flips up and attaches, sits on the metal poles and you have a little bunk bed. So that's nice and handy. We've got children and got a little extra sleeping space. And up here, this shelf is not original to the bowler either. Whoever had this bowler prior added the shelf, and it's a really nice wood shelf. It works well. Wendell put his stereo in here, and these little speakers and this amp fit perfect. So they're tucked in here super nice and tight so they will not move when we travel. And you just hook your phone up to this little amp and you can play music from your phone. And then these speakers can come out and be adjusted so that they fill up the bowler with a little better sound. Or they can also be moved outside and set on top of the bowler if we want some music outside. Wendell made the speaker wire long enough so that it will go outside of the bowler as well. But they just tuck in there absolutely perfect. It's super snug. This whole unit just nice and snug in there and so it will not move when we're traveling. And I just put some some books I want to read and a little game called a road trip. We want to play a game while we're on the road. <laughs> Wendell's not much of a game player though. His family is though. His family loves playing games so maybe I'll play that with his family when we go to the family reunion at the end of, end of July. So that is the little living room area. Really nice and cozy. There's also storage underneath here. So we keep a lot of our camping stuff in there. And I will show you the dining room. And here is the dining room. The table is original. And Wendell cleaned it up really good and he buffed it and did some oiling. I don't know, he spent quite a while and made this 
table look like brand new. It's in really great condition. The cushions are in a little, little need of some refurbishing. Um, they are starting to rip, but we really like the cushions. So I might try and see if I can do some sort of mending and fixing. Wendell thinks I should take up weaving. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Or possibly we could find some upholstery that's similar. It would be nice to have some, a little bit of sage green in it or something like that. But we really like the, the plaid look. I like that it's original. And some of my thrifted vintage throw pillows there. Gotta have lots of pillows for comfort. Makes it cozy. And I bought some placemats and bamboo placemats the other day when I was thrifting and they didn't quite work. So I found this at the dollar store and I really like it. It's nice and kind of lightens up the area a little bit. And these are the wood tea light holders that I thrifted as well and they look really nice. They work really well. They're really nice and light, so perfect for traveling. Just throw them into the storage area or a little basket or bucket, tuck them away, and then pull them out when I need to have some candlelight. So they work really well. This is just a really beautiful piece of treasure craft. I think this is the nicest piece of treasure craft that I've seen personally so far absolutely gorgeous and it looks beautiful in here so I just added that for some decor I probably won't take it when we go camping though <laughs> and then these are the plant pots that I thrifted as well the wicker little plant pots and I just put some faux plants in them because I don't want to put real plants in here they wouldn't last very long so they just add some nice green to the space and the little wicker planters are really nice and very boho looking. And this little diorama is from Banff. And we've been to Banff a few times in the bowler. This is obviously a vintage piece, but I just thought it was super cute. It should definitely be in the bowler. Especially since we've been to Banff and I absolutely love deer and there's some cute little ceramic deer in there. So put that in here for some decor. This cute little squirrel. And these salt and pepper shakers, I have one on the other side. <laughs> Wendell thrifted these and I or maybe I did, I can't remember. <laughs> It says, bless this lousy trailer. There's a little bowler on it. It's definitely not lousy, but I just thought, a bowler on there, you gotta put these in here. Definitely go in here. And these stickers were obviously added to these salt and pepper shakers, but the other one's on the other side over there. And Wendell likes to carve faces out of rocks. So that's one of his rock carvings. This dude. He's done several of them. They're really fun in the garden. The flower beds. So that is the dining room. And there is a shelf up here. And it's the same as the shelf on the opposite side. It was added as well. So I've got our hats, and little sombrero, my sun hat, some baskets. And most bowlers that I've seen have a unit here with some cupboards for storage. So I don't know if this bowler would have had that 
originally and was taken out, but it doesn't look like anything was removed, so I'm not sure. But I like the open cupboards. Some extra storage and they just look really nice. It's really nice wood. So we are planning on redoing the kitchen cupboards in something similar to this wood. Similar color tone as this wood. Some, so I'm thinking probably beach veneer would work to cover up. And it would tie in nicely with that shelf. So that is the plan for the cupboards. And this table goes down and makes into a bed. So this bar goes back and then the table comes unhooked from the metal piece across the back there and then you just place it on to these ledges on either side of the little couches and then the foam pieces go over top of the table and that one goes down and it becomes a bed. It's quite slick and I will show you the bedroom in just a jiffy. And voila, we have a bedroom. So I've put the table down and moved the cushions. The side cushions are now on top of the table and it serves as a mattress and the bed is made and ready for sleeping. And this is why I like to have lots of cushions because it makes for a nice cozy little sitting area where you can read a book, have a nap, listen to some music, hang out. Very nice and cozy. And I'll show you our little closet here. There's lots of little holes in this closet not sure what they had attached here, but um, I think they had a towel rack or something here. But they will all get covered when we put the beech wood veneer over top of this door. And these are the handles that we are looking for for the cupboard doors. So we need to find some of those handles for the cupboards. Inside is just a little closet where Wendell hangs his shirts. When we go camping, he hangs all his shirts up here and I will hang my summer dresses up here as well. And got some towels and that's just a little bucket full of, little basket full of stuff that I have in case I come across a bathroom that maybe is not the cleanest. I've got some disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer, Lysol spray, just a few things for the bathroom. Just good to have on hand. And this is where our toolbox is. Fits in there perfectly. It's quite large. It's quite long. It goes almost to the bottom. So it fits in there nicely. You gotta have a toolbox. And these are the bamboo um, placemats I thrifted so I just stuck them in here because I might use them maybe on a picnic table or something and that little wicker basket purse has got some candles and tea lights in it and got a little towel rack towel holder for towels and that's a little closet I've got a little apron in case Wendell wants to wear it when he's cooking so he doesn't get dirty because I don't cook. <laughs> and a really cute little owl radio. 
And yeah, so that is the bowler. Got another little radio over here as well, a retro radio, and that works really well. You wanna listen to the radio? So that is our 1973 bowler trailer. Super cute, super light, very handy. Perfect little camper for going camping and thrifting along the way. And that is our plan. So I'm gonna keep that bed made. So when we get there, the bed is ready. So it'll probably be pretty late by the time we get to our first destination. I forgot to mention these curtains are actually glad kitchen catchers. <laughs> and they work really well. They actually look pretty cute. Um, they're super light and they, you can't see in when they're closed. And they're really easy to change out if they get dirty or ripped and just put a new kitchen catcher. So they're temporary till I can find some curtains that'll work better, but I actually kind of like them. They're growing on me. That completes the tour of the 1973 bowler. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we are on our way this weekend to do some camping slash thrifting. I'm hoping to hit up as many thrift stores on the way there and back that we can find. And I will definitely do some thrift with me videos in whatever thrift stores that I find along the way. And I'll probably do some bowler hauls as well. So. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss the fun. <laughs> There'll be lots of fun bowler adventures coming up soon. So until I see you again, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.